Hello, hello, hello. Funny seeing you here. It's a beautiful day, and I figured, why don't we terraform the planet? You know, tractor, about time we had a chance at them. Anything fun? Nothing particularly powerful. What about the eco line? I didn't really see any. Like, heating the planet quickly as eco line is quite powerful. Obviously, I, I see the Jovian stuff, but, you know, you can't play the Consortium anyway. I think there's something to be said about just, let, let's just sit back and enjoy a chillaxing eco line. Uh, though, I wonder, can I take these two cards? Because I really like uh, the energy availability from these cards. Let's see, with 12 bucks, that leaves us with... $24, which is a mohole area and a mine. Don't mind if I do. And we would like to put the mohole area up for two cards. We kind of don't want to go there because it sticks us into a place where we have to put greeneries and we don't really like it. Yeah, sadly, against my better wishes i'm gonna put the molehole here and we'll migrate backwards and then we'll come here for the oceans um i really wanted those two cards but you know slow start is eco line that's fine i'm mean, getting four heat production is going to pay extreme dividends over 13 productions that's six and a half heat bumps So we actually have the cards we need to make this work. Um, oh, we have se seven plants. Jeez, never mind. Grabbing two. I forgot. Eco line has its main ability. Isn't just the fact that as plant productions, it's cheaper to put it out. Uh, I definitely want to do this this turn. I'm thinking. I'm leaning towards the solar wind power. Though the no the research. Let's get the research. I wanna know what we have to play with. Steelworks is not really required. The cards we drew were not great. Either way, we can still buy a card or two and get our energy production up next turn. Plus we have the heat bump. But it's not like I can get Ugh, I think I want to get the acquired company here. And the subterranean reservoir. Yeah, a little bit of eco line income goes a long way. Again, AI Central is very powerful, but we can't really rush it because it is that expensive. And letting us get a couple turns to you know, pile up a little bit of steel income, get a little bit more actual income. Here's some science tag to go with it. An urbanized area is also really good and a cheap ocean. The question is just, what are we going to play this turn otherwise? And like, I want to play the subterranean reservoir because it'll give us the plants we need to be at seven. So I can grab three cards. I can grab all three of them. It puts us off of our science, but again, getting AI Central out super early feels great because you're going to see way more cards, but I think that your income is going to be too low to get the real value out of it, and without having income, you are going to really struggle to build that engine. So you kind of have to rely on a little bit of luck, and then you can AI Central through the second half of the game. Okay, cost reduction, ability to get the heat up faster. Okay, 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 you got me intrigued here. You can't do anything this turn other than get the solar wind power, so it's as good as reason as any. Next turn, we will have the cash monies to get AI Central. And then we need one more science tide to get anti, not anti grav, sorry, but the the fancy science one. And we need one more science tag to be into a real good spot. Um, I 
I think I want this space tag as well. So do I AI central? Yeah, AI central. Getting a plant income would be nice, but it doesn't get us to a break point. And then we get two cards. Yo, we're pretty scientific right now. And this actually helps us a lot if we didn't if we did want to give up on the on the stuff. We could get we could play convoy from Europa this turn. And that would give us a card, it would give us an ocean, if we grabbed plants, it would get us a greenery. Uh, but I think it's better to wait, get the cost reduction cards, and then explode. Because we're just missing one science tag, I believe, for anti-grav. Uh, Aquifer pumping is very powerful, but the one science tag is hard for me to resist. Aquifer. We have enough time to make aquifer pumping useful. We just don't have much steel to make it useful. But we have like a steelworks anyway, so like. Not really sure. We should draw cards. Um, so we'll play artificial photosynthesis. I think that the energy would be cool, but we already have another card coming in right behind this one for six energy. So clearly that's just better. Um and now if we play this, we can get anti-grab next turn. Or we can get convoy from Europa this turn. Hard to say what's better. But I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to hold off, get Lagrange next turn. Maybe I'll get it next. Now, there's no sense buying it right now, other than the fact that I get to peek at the card, which helps me be better informed for the draft. Uh, but I'd rather just have a little bit of cash on hand. Who knows, maybe I'll get a cheaper or better science tag for right now. Or I'll get a mining area. Which works if I build a greenery here. Stream Cold Fungus is also good, but... The mining area. So then we draw another card. Quantum extractor, yo. I could do this this turn and get a bunch of steel, but I'd rather have four energy production. I should have grabbed cards first, clearly. I mean, had I grabbed cards first, I wouldn't have built the Lagrange, and then I could have used that two on something else, and yada yada. That's going to really help us spike the heat, which, it, as Ecoline, is extremely beneficial because you're so gated on so many plant cards by heat or oceans, but a lot more of them are heat than they are oceans. So, you know. Meanwhile, Remember that I got the urbanized... These are good. I got the urbanized area, and I plan on putting it down here. Let's get two more cards. We're really, we're really pulling the deck down here. Cupola City. I think we want to build Cupola over here, though, first. What's the order? Do I want Steelworks? Like, I have a lot of energy, but... We could have so much energy, which is all going to turn to heat, which is what we need. And we don't need oxygen that badly. We don't have that much plant production, but, like... Still... I think I start with the Cupola City. We go down here, we get some plants, you know, that that's just good, plants are good. We build the mining area. Cost us two bucks, but we get a titanium and a titanium production. That's pretty good. We get convoy from Europa. We really should get this convoy down. Now, if I go here, 
Then I can go there, and that'll get me up to 14 plants, which gets me two greeneries this turn. Trees. Very happy to have trees in my hand. All these greenery pickups are just fueling our engine very much in a, in a great way. Just an absolutely disgusting way. Disgusting being a positive term in this context. Oh, okay. Now I could get fusion power. Or I could wait until I have Olympus Conference next turn so I can get a card off of it. Or I could buy Development Center and draw a card. Or I could do a lot of things. I might just want to buy inert gases. 12 bucks. It produces... We have income that produces five more times. So this would pay for itself, kind of. And by kind of, I mean, like, yes. It'd be two bucks short, but it'd be worth two points. Does, is there a real opportunity cost lost here? I don't think so. Next turn we'll be at 16. We could get grass and stuff, but that's fine. It's that or the energy, which is like this would give us actual heat buffs. Three energy will get into heat four times, which is, you know, 12 heat. Which is basically two heat. It's basically two heat bumps. So heat bump and a half for 12 bucks. Gives us energy. I don't think that any one way is best or worst or what have you, but that one was weird. That one was hard for me. The only other question I have is how much heat do we need? Can we turn it into money? I think we have to wait. I think we need to let this energy pool over for a couple turns, get our heat on track, and then once we're like two generations in, then we can maybe for the last two generations generate something instead. Uh, Vesta is very powerful for our current. Like, I mean, we spend 12 bucks on it and we get 12 bucks back and it's a point, right? It's pretty good. Plus we can use our titanium on it. Like, I don't want to buy any more than that because we get two free cards a turn. We have 19 cards. Tech demonstration is free right now. Okay, I'll get Olympus Conference. It's fine. So then when I play the tech demonstration, that'll get me three cards instead. Asteroid and some energy. It's all good. I mean, I want to play Grass for sure. The only question is, I can't get Trees, right? Trees is like minus four? Okay. We'll go and grab two plants back instead of two money. I'll buy the asteroid. That gets us two titanium back, which means I have enough to just put that into uh, Vesta, which, you know, will give us titanium that we can actually use because we'll put that into the other thing. Oh, a steel production. $4 to produce steel four times? We have enough things that require steel that that's, that's valuable to me. Plus, you know, screwing over the neutral. Um, and then the power plant for two bucks because we're no want to play the other one because that would lose us a point. Okay. Okay. You know, like we're breathing a sigh of, I don't want to say relief. Like we're doing well as eco line for sure. The loan is good. The plants are good. Like, I just want these. I don't actually want this bad boy. We're not, like, doing that well. We still have a lot of terraforming to go, particularly the oceans scare me. I don't think I can do that asteroid mining card. With two more heat bumps, we'd be so close to getting the trees this round.
Does that mean I buy Dev Center? I also have to think about where we are on oceans, because I got the ocean building card. And then I never actually bought it. And now there's only four uses of it if I did buy it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get a little bit more card draw. I'm not satisfied with the cards we have. Hard Raiders, we play it for free. And it costs us three bucks to buy, but then we play it and we get more than three bucks back if we use it for some something good. Something good. Tell me something good. I mean it's either it's we either go neutral on it, which still has value, or we steal steal. I just can't figure out what I want to do this turn. Like buying a heat bump seems crazy, but you know, you, you take the asteroid, you smash the asteroid into the planet. That means that we don't have enough, even if we got to minus four, to play trees. Well, we could take a loan and we could steal money. And then we could put our greenery between two oceans. I mean, that seems pretty good. What else could we do? Minus A, we get this ocean down. Either way, it's definitely worth taking our investment loan. And if I do this, I can put it here. That's powerful. I turn around, I put this in here. That's a lot of money. Then we look here. I can Nitrolithic Moss now. Nice. We have four Titanium. I mean, Nitrolithic Moss is so good, but like, also, we'd have four bucks left if we did Asteroid Mining. It's such a bad rate of return though we'd get six titanium back from this six titanium is worth how much you know like 18 bucks spending 24 bucks to get 18 bucks i'm gonna do it because i'm an idiot but i like it's good points you know it's good points, you know. Like I feel like I'm the guy, like the aliens guy. I'm like the, the points. <laughs> do you do hear about points? And that still leaves us enough for nitrolithic. We didn't get the value out of that, other than the fact that we played another event. But you know, you know that that titanium could have been put towards other stuff, but we're still gonna have titanium, so I'm not really that worried about it in that sense. We have a lot of heat to go. Now, these are some good points, but I think that this is what we want. Gene repair is good for points, but I have enough points projects happening on the side here. I think you would all agree. This is so late, but I'm thinking about doing the steelwork, so we don't need the heat anymore. What are your thoughts on steelworks? Are you, are you in the camp that we should have bought it forever ago? Or that... Buying it now is a good time, or lastly, uh, you should never buy it. I'm going to take this minus two points for a nuke. Um, ooh, Ice Asteroid! Yo! I should have looked at that first. Jeez. I'm sorry. Where do we want a nuke? I like the nuking in this pocket. So to facilitate that, let's let's nuke in this pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nuke. Pocket. Oh, that feels good. Then we turn this up into... Mmm, yummy. Put this in between there. That's a lot of money we get back. Another heat bump. Mmm, delicious. That gives us another ocean, if we will. 
We don't need uh, Aqua for pumping anymore. That two ocean card really, really pushed us over the line. Large convoy and predators. I haven't said it yet, but Pog. <laughs> Do I really need to push the oxygen? I don't think so. And this can get us animals as well. So we don't need that ocean, the black polar dust. Let me let me go here and just sell some of the things I don't want. I don't want steelworks. Okay, maybe I do want steelworks. I'm gonna use insulation this turn. I don't want this. Don't want this. Don't want small animals. Don't want black polar dust. Okay. Can we get up to 14 plants? No, we can't. Unless I play trees, which I will. So trees is a fantastic card. We still have a lot of productions left. So let me play this here. The reason, by the way, nuke goes so well in this pocket is because usually you want to build a city here to get all these greeneries. And then this spot here, you're kind of building a greenery oftentimes, and it's not giving you anything. Can't get two more oxygen this round. Immigration shuttles? Get ten bucks back for right now one point? Spend fifteen bucks for one point? I don't think so. Moss is good. Callisto Penal Mines for the same reason as a really bad card. But it has the benefit of being paired with... Uh, Sorry, I'm being paired with our terraforming Ganymede. We already burnt one of the points per Jovians. We had water from Europa in our starting hand. I didn't grab it because I'm a dum-dum. But... You know, you can't bank on a run being this good. I'm sorry I'm stalling out here so hard. I think I want to grab the Steelworks. Because the way I'm looking at it is you spend $13 on it and you're going to get... Two steel three times, which is worth um, which is worth the money back, right? Which is worth the 12 bucks back plus the TR you get for doing it. And uh, the energy, I don't need more heat bumps anyway. So like it doesn't really cost us anything. It goes net neutral. We use steel to buy it anyway. And now we have a little bit of steel income that we can use on our like urbanized area or something like it just works. It's just weird that I, I don't really need it for the oxygen, but it's it's a nice thing to have. Immigrant City is very powerful. This is powerful. This is power. These are all good for us. Like, Space Station is fun because you put one into it. Yay! No. Uh, immigrant City, where are you at? I want you now. Oh, no, I want you after. Let's look at our cards. We should always look at our cards. We might get rovers or something, which you want to do before buying any cities. We got more stuff. Ooh, in fact, we got space elevator. So that's where we really want to put our steel. Um, sure. This is it's a cheap point for an energy money whatever. I'm not sure if it was worth buying, but I'll do the math later. So we use all the steel, all the titanium. Very good. We sell the steel. Very good. We buy Immigrant City here. Now it's, it's good to save some steel cards, but 
because I have magnetic field domes, I can always buy that with some steel. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to buy magnetic field domes this turn. But I could. And that would be good. Um, I can get predators, though, and start getting in my big shipments, my large convoys. Noctis. If I buy this here, then Noctis farming. Or predators. I want to get predators and Eos Chasma. We have a couple of things that use a lot of uh, metal possibility. Our predators can eat. Uh, eat themselves. They can't eat the neutrals? Oh, they can. Okay. Weird way that displays. What would you do with this ocean? Is it really more valuable than something else? I don't think so. So 11, I'm just going to put this here because it needs to go there at one point. Hmm. I mean, do we have a bunch of earth tags? Like is one production actually going to be worthwhile? No, we lose money on cartel. We make more money from selling it. Lightning harvest is fine for a point. It's five bucks if we buy it next turn, six, or this turn, six bucks if we buy it next turn because of this money production giving us a discount. The titanium, on the other hand, is clearly not good. Let's let's do a little bit of hand culling again, just to clear up my, uh, my perspective here on our cards. What do we have that we can actually do? We can do the imported the hydrogen. That's an income, and we want to do that at one point anyway. So I'm going to do that now. Um, two steel, or two titanium, or a card. I think about the titanium, we have a lot of things worth points for titanium. And I could grab three plants, but I'm going to grab two single point animals, because that's just more right now. Okay. We have two more greeneries lined up, plus we have the free oxygen, right? So we're not worried for that. We really want cities is like a lot of points. We did not get any city stuff. Tundra farming is two points, so I'll grab it. I don't think we can do a lot of the things that I want to do, though. What do we draw? Meh. Some, some straight up meh. Meh. Do this. This is, this is good. It's good. We're, we're collecting a lot of money. We're going to eat some more neutral animals that don't exist, but you can still eat them. We get our last heat bump, because we, we kind of paced it out pretty good. I think the large convoy is like the most points we could possibly play. It's twice as expensive as Interstellar Colony, but it also does a terraform for us. I'm going to grab two of this steel. And I would like four one-point animals, please. So we've won. Now let's try and extract value. Ooh, we got a city. So I think we buy the city. Because this is six bucks. Put it here. Which allows me to build this greenery here which will get us a bunch of money and even steal back. So, like, that's good. Um, how many Jovians do we have? Let's talk about that. So this is a, a good card, but it's not nearly as good as Interstellar Colony Show. These are all bad for us. So let's, let's go ahead and sell those cards. Let's keep our hand thin. Let's not get overwhelmed with options. I can't not play this. This is good. 
It's a really cheap couple of points. Um, how many cities do we have in play? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this isn't good even if we play Phobos. It's only two points. This is a lot of points though. This was this is five points versus three points, and it's only a little bit more expensive. And if I buy both of these, it's extra good. I think they what they're what I want to do. It's like it's really good. Now if I sold some cards. I could get more points. If I sold four cards, that'd bring me one point one dollar short of Phobos. But I could get it with a green replacement, don't get me wrong. Or I could sell four cards and with my steel get magnetic field dome, which is worth three TR, so three points. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sell Well actually view game state. Can we get Is there any way to get Lightning Harvest and Phobos Space Haven? And does scooping plants give us anything? We need three more plants to get up. So I actually know I want I want to sell everything that isn't magnetic field domes. Because that will help me very easily get another well a three points but then b i only need to scoop up one plant so that now i'll have 14 in the next phase and that's two that's two extra green rings and i got spots for them so you get one and you're the first city i built so you get one Tell me we didn't score big. Tell me that that did not just happen. My god, we got all the milestones and awards. 128. The power of scientific cost reduction on Ecolon. We didn't even have a particularly powerful start. We just drew into some good science, stacked them all up, got some good events. I'm very happy with that, and I bet you are happy too. This was good. I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. I can't wait for this video to go up and uh, hear what people have to think. See you next time. Cheers.